What is up YouTube? This is Brandon Lee here with the Toys R coming back at you with another Marvel Select review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Marvel Select Venom. Uh, brand new, just came out. Very, very excited about this figure. Let's uh, take a look at the box. In the front you'll see uh, he's got two separate closed fists as well as his open fists so you can take those off. Then you've got the Eddie Brock uh, transformation head. Then you have what they're calling the McFarlane uh, Venom head right here. Uh, this tongue right here is detachable. This back piece is also detachable as well. So uh, let's look at the art on the box here. Very nice artwork. Very, very nice artwork. I like this artwork a lot. I'm actually going to keep the box for sure. I like this artwork a lot. I mean, it's, it's really, really cool. So, uh, here's the back of the package. If you guys uh, want to read this right here, go ahead and uh, pause. But that just lets you know uh, about Eddie Brock and Venom, the symbiote. So, very nice back here. There's the other figures in the line, the Barbarian Hulk and the Rhino, which I'm going to get the Rhino next week. So, yeah, let's get into this guy. Alright, so all I have to say about this figure is really, I mean, wow. I mean, Marvel Select really came through uh, on this figure. Um, still missing a few articulation points, but man, the stuff you get uh, on top of the figure itself, like the extra heads, this head right here. The, the two fists right here. It also comes, I didn't notice, but it comes with these uh, hands that hook onto the arms right here. Those are separate, so you can pop them on and off, you know, as you please. Um, let's get into some, uh, some paint detail on this figure, though. This figure is very, very, very nice. Very nicely done. I like the way that they painted the web shooters right here. It's very nice, nice, nice work. Um, you can see the symbiote throughout the suit which I like on top of the muscle you can just see the uh, the whips and all this this veiny stuff right here to let you know see there's one of the arms right there to let you know that you know he's in a suit a symbiote suit so um, I like this figure a lot so let's get into some uh, some detail very nicely sculpted on on his spider right here on his chest not only is it paint you know it's painted but it's also sculpted on I do like that um, same as in the back right here very nice work they even went as far as to do the web shooters on these little guys too these other hands that are in his back I really like that a lot uh, just a flat black or I wouldn't say flat black he's a, he's a glossy paint uh, black. He's got this white with a uh, black, uh, black wash on it. So it's very nice. Anywhere that you see the white, there's also a, a black gray wash on it. So I do like it a lot. This figure is very nice. Very, very nice. I think I'm, I'm seeing also some hints of blue, like right here, at the top of his head. A few of those there. Uh, it's just. I said it's a very nice figure, man. It's it's really good. Good job by Marvel Select. Um, let's pop off this back piece, and we'll take a look at it right quick. It's curved to his back muscles, so it just fits right on there. Let me set this figure to the side right quick. Get him taken apart and stuff. So, but uh, each head moves individually, 
which is very nice. I like the teeth, the way that they did the teeth. They're a yellow, like a white, uh, an off-white yellow look. Every one of their heads move except for this one right here that's kind of molded down to that right there. But even this guy over here moves, so. Very neat little aspect to this figure. Um, his arms rotate up and down on a single joint, uh, single jointed elbow right there. And then the wrists do turn. That's like that for both sides. It's a really neat figure, man. I just, I'm enjoying this figure a lot. Very nice sculpt work with the symbiotes coming out of the back. So let's uh, let's look at uh, these other hands that pop off here. Web shooters painted on. I like that a lot. The wrists also rotate right here. I like that. It's very nice. So like I said, the uh, the sculpt on the hands are very nice on these uh, these claws right here. I like that very sharp too as well you don't want to stab anybody with these they're very sharp so um, his face spot on they did a very nice job on the sculpt of this head right here the one that you get out of package very nice work the eyes aren't too big he's very evil looking I'm telling you this figure is just amazing very nice work by Marvel Select, I'll tell you that. One of the best ones that we've got from the Marvel Select line. Um, let's look at his uh, his articulation. Okay, so like I was saying earlier in the first of the video, the articulation on this figure is not that bad. I mean, they did miss a few points in the articulation that could have made this figure just a 10 out of 10. But, you know, you know what you, what you going to do, you know? Um, let's uh, Let's get into it. Um, his head right here 360 up not very far and down not very far the reason for that is his head pops off very easy very very easy um, his shoulders are on a ball joint rotation full in and out up and down and then uh, he also has single jointed elbows which could have been double jointed, I'm not going to lie to you, it would have been a little nicer. Uh, wrist rotation, no in and out, just for the main fact that you pull it out, it's very easy to pull out of there. Um, same on the other side, ab crunch, not so much, it's very small. He does go 360 at his ab crunch, and he does go waist swivel about that much. For some reason, um, he doesn't go all the way around not sure why he's on a t-joint here kinda like the uh, DC figures um, it's very nice articulation here though I do like that I've, I haven't seen this much on figures from uh, the Marvel select line but uh... goes out very far goes back not so far goes out a pretty good ways he has uh, thigh swivel right there he has single jointed knees and he has a pivot that goes up and down no ankle pivot and that's it there's no rotation right there at all either so that's the articulation on this figure uh, let's see the accessories this guy comes with okay so other than the back piece that uh, comes with your figure when you first buy it which is this back piece right here and uh, these separate hands that also pop onto Venom's arms all right. and, uh, he also comes with a set of fists, which I will put on him in a second. A left and a right. Very nice sculpt work, very nice detail, very nice paint detail. And then he also comes with the McFarlane Spider-Man Venom Head, is what I've been told. It's got a little green right there. Very, uh, very nice sculpt work on this one right here. I think this is the one I'll use. I think this is the one a lot of people are actually using to display their uh, venom so we'll try to that on him in a second and then the Eddie Brock transformation head which I like a lot the only thing I don't like is his head looks a little big um, for the transformation sequence I think it should should have been just this, a little smaller but I do like this head a lot so uh, let's check it out with the Eddie Brock head so there's venom with the Eddie Brock head 
uh, I really like this a lot. It's very, uh, very cool looking. You do some cool displays with this guy right here, transforming and whatnot. So I like the side view of it a lot too. Just a really neat piece right there. Let's check it out with the uh, McFarlane. Okay, so this is uh, Venom with the uh, McFarlane head. I really like that a lot. Um, I will probably alternate between the Eddie Brock transformation head and this one right here. Like I said, the tongue is removable, or so I was told. Yeah, there we go. So, very cool looking teeth. I like the green that they put here. So I guess he's talking, because it's mainly when that green stuff starts coming out. I do like this figure, though. I like it actually more without the tongue than with the tongue. So let's, uh, let's check out these hands. I actually like these hands a lot. They, uh, I would like to, I guess I'll do one claw on one hand and one, one closed fist on one hand. I actually like the closed fist. It's like he's boxing. It's really, really neat looking. Give him a old one, two. You know, so, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review on the uh, Marvel Select uh, Venom action figure. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Brandon Lee with the Toys Are, and uh, see you guys next time. Peace.